This video is a full split mod playthrough on Terraria. I'm going to be highlighting the boss battles and weapons of the split mod from the Cutcom series that I recently completed. So if you want to see the series in more detailed episodes, or you just want to see me die more in game, are you shitting me? Random stuff is in my way! I recommend checking out this playlist. But if you just want to watch the split mod bosses that I fought and weapons I used, then just watch this video. I will be skimming over vanilla Terraria progression in order to really spotlight the split mod. And one last thing, just keep in mind that I am playing Summoner. So remember that there are so many cool other weapons and possibilities with this mod. But anyway, here's the video so we're playing the split mod today because everyone keeps talking about it and how it's so good and i kind of want to play Terraria. okay let's see the bosses uh king slime spirit interesting after checking out the boss list i went into the caves to get some basic gear and while exploring i found this structure is this a split mod thing whoa it's like snowing or some shit there's a chest up there and i want it on go up you got a clob what type of ammo does this use a clob what the fuck that was a freaking jellyfish what is that an enchanted horn Oh, <gasps> it's a pet. That's so cool. That is so cool. <gasps> Tsunami in a bottle. I'll take that. Are these gold? Oh, <gasps> yes. With the loot I got, I was pretty much ready to fight a boss. So I went up to the surface and I found a crazy specimen, which would allow me to fight and kill the eye of Cthulhu. <gasps> it's a sheep. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Can I capture it? Give me a fucking bug net. Oh my gosh. I have a sheep. I can equip it. <gasps> what? It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. It's a material too. A bob. Oh my God. No. <laughs> Hell yeah. We got the arms dealer. Wait, does that mean we can use this thing now? This clob. Come here, buddy. Musket balls. What? It's like an M16. Oh. No way. No way. This is so good. This is so good. If we have Hermes boots, we can kill uh, the Ike Cthulhu. Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> yeah! After killing the Ike Cthulhu, I had access to materials to craft a summon staff called the Supernatural Staff, which would summon these ghosts. There it is. Supernatural Staff. Gosh, what the heck? Hell yeah, dude. It just circles around me like that. It's so cool. I've never seen something like that before. After that, I started looking for the instructions on how to fight the first split mod boss, which was the spirit boss. Oh yeah, we got to kill the spirit boss. So the spawn and we need the low tech remote from the Twilight Walker. He randomly spawns in the corruption or crimson underground. <gasps> there he is. There he is. My kind Seth. Hello. He gave us the low tech remote. All right, we have it. Connecting. Please stay on the line. Oh. Oh God. Oh. We are underprepared. We're underprepared. Okay, maybe we're not underprepared. He's shooting ice. Go ghost. Go attack him. Just stand over here. Yo, my ghost is fucking him up. Stand over here. Fuck, I keep falling down. Oh, that hurt. I'm dumb. If I take two hits, I'm dead. That distance. Oh shoot, my transmitter is dead. You know how expensive this stuff is these days? I don't know, but oh, he's shooting those things. I gotta pay attention to my platform. Oh gosh, please, please, please. No, I got hit. No, 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 no. This is bad. Fuck, I can't get hit. I can't get hit. I can't get hit. Oh, no, 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 no. Go to the nurse. Go to the nurse. Go to the nurse, Adrian. Oh, I'll report that. I'll report everything. What are you gonna report, sir? That your transmitter broke? Oh gosh. I hopped into that. No, 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 no. Oh god, please, please don't get hit. Please don't get hit. Fuck. Oh. No, move, move, move. So close. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Please. Oh, yes. <sighs> what happened? Are we going to talk to him now? Wait, listen to the music. I thought it would be easier. Hey, you don't look like a space pirate. Of course you're not. That I, I just got it all mixed up. But my transmitter got a signal from here. Now it's absolutely irretrievable. Ir irretrievable irretrievably destroyed how do i go back now i'm in the middle of something do you hear this music it sounds kind of ominous like something's here <laughs> i got you homie i'll turn it off don't mind me i'm just waiting for some thoughts to cross my mind the music's popping though all right let's get this stuff gold heart ganoshi can be interested and not nasty messenger marked enemies marked enemies do more damage it's really cool guess that's it this is like a pretty cool guy a bone chilling cold comes from a stranded after the fight i started farming these skull enemies that would only spawn on like a new moon or a zero i don't know there's one holy tits it dropped one and how much do i need nine it's over guys <gasps> there's another one you filthy animal die. It would basically only spawn in a specific moon phase, so it was really annoying to farm. But after I had enough ether, I made an armor set. Gravekeeper hood, robe, legs. Beautiful. Beautiful. Three. I began farming the Eye of Cthulhu again for another summon weapon. This summon weapon wasn't really a summon weapon, but it was more like a whip, like in 1.4. Alright, how, do, how does it work? 
That's really cool, actually. It's like a whip, but not. I wonder if it pierces through stuff. Before checking out the next boss, which is called One Shot, I decided to fight the Eater of Worlds and also make some progress. A new NPC called Ganoshi moved in and he gave me a cool, really cool, actually, accessory. Collector. Wait a minute. That's a new NPC. Whoa. It's Ganoshi. He wants the thingy. Well, 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 what do we have here? So you're the one whose spirit's buzzing about. Man, you're a mess. Apparently, teleportation wasn't entirely successful. Just look at your face. Well, enough about you. I'm here to help you with your journey. Have you heard about the element something something exchange? Let's give him this skull heart. He's going to give us the sage's head. Increases your max number of minions i'm such a happy person after that i headed to the corruption to fight the eater of worlds oh my gosh i'm telling you man i told you it was gonna be flesh and bones look at that freaking oh it's already dead it didn't even stand a fucking chance oh my beautiful after I killed it, I went grinding for another armor set to increase my defense before I fight this new boss. Our next armor set is crab armor. Oh yeah, now he's taking damage. Oh yeah, now he's taking damage. Yeah, you thought you were tough, huh, buddy? Yeah, you're dead. Crab shelmet. I crafted the... Oh yeah, there they are. I was like, I crafted the legs, sir. Oh shit! Yo, this looks sick. This new boss finally spawned in after we beat Spirit. It was spawning in in the that ice ship structure that we visited in the beginning of the game. But here's the fight. Actually, let's put on this BM Bander region. Oh, wait, 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 I just realized we should make an arena. I, I, I'm so dumb. Okay. Ah, shit. He looks cool as fuck. What the heck? I don't even know what's... Oh, whoa, whoa, ow. I need to get rid of this moon thing, man. I want to do that with my jellyfish. Oh, gosh. That's such a cool attack. Where is he? Oh, he's on his thing. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. All right, I think I memorized all of his attacks now. Except for that one. I lied. That's the worst one. I hate it. Oh gosh, the bombs, the bombs. This one's easy. I know this one. This one's not bad. This one's not bad at all. This is saw blades. This is saw blades. Go up, go up. All right, as, as long as we go up with the saw blades, we're fine. We're doing good. We're doing good. Tag him. Go down. Oh, I got hit. Oh, we're fine. We're, there's no way we're going to lose. Unless I fuck up again. Come on, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Go, 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 go. Let's go, baby. We got a summon staff. Let's go, dude. We got a summon staff. What does it do? After that, I fought and killed the queen bee and went to go fight another sled mod boss. This boss was called the Menace, and I actually had previously died to her for the first time. Or him. There's actually two things. Anyway, I actually died to them for the first time like a while ago, so this was a rematch. Okay, let's try this one more time. Actually, probably a dozen more times. Holy crap, but there's so many projectiles, and I got hit by that one. Those things still stick in the ground, those ice swords. Dude, that thing just goes down through all the platforms, man. All right, we can go through here. Oh my gosh. So many projectiles. As long as I stay on this platform, it should be fine. That's a new attack. I didn't remember that one. Let's go down here. There we go. Oh, oh. This one goes on all platforms. I'm going to go up top here. How did I not get hit? I'm not complaining. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm frozen. Oh, crap. What the fuck? She's playing Tetris with me, bro? Oh, my gosh. This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. Let's heal. Holy crap. Holy crap. We didn't get hit. We didn't get hit. Perfect. Perfect. Go down here. Hide under here. That's what I like. That's what I like to see. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, we got this. We got this. Hide under here. Shoot these bullets. Bam. Ha. Huh, nothing bad ever happens to the menace. She got struck by lightning, bro. All right. Ooh, we got another freaking summon. It's cute little stars. Ooh, okay. I also got a forecaster rod. Ooh. After we beat the menace, we actually had no more split mod bosses. So I went ahead and killed Skeletron. And then I went and killed Wall of Flesh to progress into hard mode. While in hard mode, the first boss we had to kill was a person named Paraffin. I didn't know how to summon him or her. I, oh, fuck, I forgot. It wasn't really clear on how to summon her, but I did go into the underworld and I found this. What is that? A tectonic. Oh, this is the boss. This is the boss. This is how you summon him. Our paraffin. I then went to go find a modded split mod biome called the basal biome. Inside of the biome would be the key to spawning paraffin and also getting a new summon weapon. But it did take a while to find it. Here it is. Yo. All right, let's go on inside of it. What the fuck? 
Okay, maybe we're not supposed to be in here. I'm taking a lot of damage. There's a chest over right here, and I need a key. Oh, these pearls. I think we need these, right? Titanic. I did have to actually fight something before I got these keys. Awesome looking match. What does this do? Throw into the lava to summon. Wait a minute. I can make that. Throw in the lava to attract something. I don't fucking know. Throw it. Did I really miss? All right, let's throw this match in the lava. Yonk. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to fight here, buddy. You look kind of... Oh, what is this? What is going on? No. No. This is such a tight area. And also, why is there a red demon here? Is he dead? We killed him. What did he just drop? He dropped it. Wait, he dropped the key. Wait a minute. That was all part of my plan, actually. All right, let's kill this guy. Okay, wait. I used my first key on a chest, and this was inside the chest. Oh, <gasps> we got it. We got it. Oh, shit. Oh, my. Let me see. It, let me see. It, let me see it. The Vulcanian staff summons molten hammers to... My molten hammers are attacking, bro. Look at those things, man. They're like bouncing away. I actually can't really tell because of the uh, all the projectiles that are fucking red. 500-ish damage. I took some of the pearls that I got from the basil biome and headed over to the snow slash ice hollowed mix I had. A specific mini boss would spawn whenever you're in the hollow and it's raining. And I needed the boss materials in order to craft a new armor set called Stellar Armor. And so I went grinding for that. There it is. There it is. Right there. There we go. How many did it drop? Bars. Bam. Can we make it now? Stellar Armor. Yes, we can. Hat. Coat. Legs. Oh, put it all together. Oh. Oh my gosh, do we look drippy? Awesome. All right, let's uh. So wow, we have a lot of defense, huh? We have 54. After that, I summoned a blood moon and fought a golem type enemy or some stuff like that. It was a really chunky guy. And there's yep, he's right there. And okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, well, I made a mistake. But uh, I got enough stuff called hemostone to upgrade my eye sore weapon to a ball of flush weapon type of thing. But then after that, I went back into hell and tried to go find another cage. And eventually, I found one. And this is what happened. And unlock. Oh, shit. Paraffin. You look kind of cool. Hi, Paraffin. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Not free at last. It's been two hours in this cage. Name's Paraffin. And you just hit the jackpot because I'm the best friend you can possibly have. Whether you like it or not, together we're going to rock this world. Damn, bro. It decreases all your stats. Reject. Oh. How could it be? Was I not good enough for you? No one. No one dares to reject Paraffin. Well, I did. I'm literally in my focus mode right now. Never mind. I'm dead. <sighs> Fuck. Whoa, Paraffin. Don't think I forgot about your rude behavior, moron. I would actually love to be friends with Paraffin. Psych, bitch, you thought? You fucking thought, bitch? I'm out this bitch. Oh, he's trying to fist me. Nope, no can do about it, sir. How do you dodge this? I don't know how to dodge this. I'm down here. I don't want to be down here. Whoa, what the fuck? That's really cool attack, buddy. But too bad it won't phase me. Oh, God, it's this one. I just relax. So I just, okay, okay, okay. There you go. Oh, gosh, what? Oh, she's cranky now, right? Is that a pwn hammer? Oh, gosh. Oh, she's coming from the left. And those bone serpents. He stopped. Keep shooting her. Keep shooting her. What's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? What is that? 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 And I fell in the lava. I ran into that. There you go. There you go. Doing fine. Just doing just fine. Oh, it's the fire attacks. Oh, gosh. Ow. Heal, heal, heal. Ow. Ow. We're going to kill her. Yep. We did it. She left us a heart. Paraffin's blasting off again. Paraffin will remember that. But I didn't really want to kill her. She was kind of debuffing me, right? Sinister candle summons the paraffin. Stranger brew. Troublesome vessel, sealed and locked, show it some love. After the fight with Paraffin, there wasn't actually any new bosses that I could fight until after the mechanical bosses, so I went ahead and killed the mechanical bosses. I killed Skeletron Prime, and then I killed the Destroyer, and then I ended off with the Twins. The next boss after this was another split mod boss called the Mirage, which would be found in the desert, but before going to fight her or him, I crafted another summon item, and this is when the summon items actually start getting spicy. And then from there, we should be able to make the Ice Fairy Staff. Yes, sir. There we go. All right, let's see what it looks like. You can summon multiple of these things okay, okay. wow they, i feel like you would only be able to summon one but uh let's go summon king slime and see how it goes if i even have a king slime spawner all right let's see how it goes not my no deterrent stop it turn stop attack it holy tits oh my gosh bro what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck after testing out my new summons i went ahead into the desert to fight the new split mod boss called the mirage <gasps> There she is! And there she is! We're geniuses! And there's a lot of enemies still! Fuck! Ah! Strange communicator. She looks pretty cool. Just looking for an old friend. And you're looking for a fight, aren't you? If so, let me show you a few tricks. I'm not really looking for a fight, but let's, uh, let's use our book and challenge. Interesting attacks, interesting attacks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, oh, gosh. That's a lot of projectiles. Let me zoom out a little. Whoa, what is going on? She's coming back. A lot of projectiles, a lot of projectiles. Let's just go up in a circly dickily. Uh, my minions seem to be doing a pretty good job. Okay, 
I think the ice fairies are doing the best right now. So let's summon a bit more of those. Just run horizontally. Go down now. Gonna dash probably, right? Never mind. I'm completely wrong. Dude, my minions are tearing shit. Wait, wh why is there like five of them over next to me? Go! Attack! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is she healing, bruh? Did she heal on me? You can't do that. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my gosh. I just lost a lot of HP. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, maybe I kind of want a few more hammers. I got one hammer. Please, I have like 20 seconds until my next heal. Um, uh, I'm, in this, I'm in the zone, bro. The auto zone. Oh my lord. Oh, uh, please. We're so close. Just run away. Just run away, Adrian. That's a good. That's one thing you're good at. Oh my god. We're, we got it. We got it. We got it. Please. Whew. Totally wasn't sweating about that. Wow, that was pretty cool. That was like a show. Nice. What did we get? Wanton poster. Oscar loan shot. Pathetic betrayer empathy. Catchphrase. I'm not a pirate. That's just my theme, y'all nerds. Introvert, not married. After the fight with Mirage, I went ahead and beat Plantera to continue progressing on vanilla Terraria. But before I beat Golem, I had to defeat one other boss called the Insurgent. Before challenging this boss, I went ahead and got myself some new accessories, crafted some, buying stuff. I don't remember. I checked out the guide or some shit like that. I made the spawn item for the Insurgent, and then I went ahead and went farming for another Sentry Summon. If I'm right. If it's like the old ones, it should... Wait, we're about to kill it, actually. Hey, we killed it. There's the item. Oscillating quartz. There it is. Albedo stat. Let's see what it looks like. It's just a regular crystal. Okay, okay. I can respect that. I can respect that. All right, let's go fight this boss. And then I fought the insurgent and I actually had trouble this time. For some reason, I was actually really bad at this fight. God damn. Why does it dash up? How do you dodge that, man? Should I go to fucking Louisiana or some shit? Why is he not? Okay, I was about to say, like, why are you not dashing kind, sir? Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm running. I'm running. Well, I don't know. Look at that. Fucking Mach 10. You blink and he's there. He's like the fucking pizza man. We're actually really close. Wait, wait a minute. Please leave me alone, sir. Yep. Wait a minute. Wait, this might be the strat. Wait, what the heck? Why did I go diagonally? I'm stupid. If I actually win, go and die. I no, I'm, no, no words. After the insurgent, there was actually one more, or technically two more, but there was one more boss fight, which was Seth. However, Seth has two forms called Seth and Ultimate Seth, and Ultimate Seth is post Moon Lord. So, yes. We're, we're basically, we're gonna fight Seth. That's the final boss of Split Mod. I went ahead and crafted another summon using the insurgent's boss materials. It's okay, it's called the Scarlet Staff. It looks really cool. Summons a bloodthirsty vampire to destroy everything. Any, what? Isn't this a double tap W to unleash the vampire form? Is this something from Toho Project? I, don't, I never, I never did stuff with that. I also went ahead and crafted another armor set. All right, let's uh, let's get the new armor set, the possessed armor. It actually might be the same in terms of uh, I don't know. Okay. What? I dashed. Uh. Before fighting Seth, I went ahead and killed the golem or well technically slaughtered him. But um here's the footage of that. I mean I, I can't see how anything would go wrong, right? Ow. Okay, I'm I'm stuck. Things are going horribly wrong. Are you shitting me, bro? Of course he's blocking the and they turn vampire mode and they give you HP! Look at that! That's so cool, man! They literally just go ape shit and they give you HP. Oh then I fought the lunatic cultist in order to get another essence to make a melee weapon before I decided to fight Seth. For a weapon that I wanted to get, you looked really cool. Well, oh, it's because the hatchet in my inventory i'm so stupid here it is the war the warfare what the heck why does it always do that actually i lied i decided to do one more thing before fighting stuff i needed to get another summon sentry item and it was this ufo item and you would actually buy it from an npc but this npc had a really tricky way to find him basically you need to use a slime gun or a water gun on your npcs one of your npcs is actually not your npc it's actually this alien in disguise so once you do that this will happen here sorry guys let me just spray all of you guys there it is oh shit what the heck he, he, he was the painter the whole time sir hello oh i'm so sorry there are so many wholesome people in your world blah Blah, 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 blah. He just wants to be a part of our big family. Oh, that's really nice. Really, really cute. Really, 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 really wholesome, I guess. All right, let's see what he... Why wow, he has a lot... Of, okay, yeah. So we wanted to get the extraterrestrial rod, which is a sentry sum. Perfect. That's what we have. After that, I successfully got another sentry item, and I went ahead and fought Seth. Let's try and kill Seth. I don't think we can do it, but hey, let's just see what it looks like, right? I'm sure it can't be that bad, right? And I had a great time. I'm not going to show all of the rages that I had, but I will show some of them if you want to see the full ones. Just go on my, you know, my cut comms. But um, yeah, this is Seth right before moon lord and i'm dead man holy shit i'm dead dude how how man i don't understand how also keep in mind he has an insta kill move which was what i kept dying to so um yeah that's the context behind some of these clips and deaths what is this new phase what how man you insta die how do you dodge that 
What am I supposed to do? I don't understand, man. My man fucking farts out fucking pheromones or some shit, dude. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. If I dash, I go too far. If I stand still, I die. I don't- You move too slow! Why does it change direction? It goes up, and then it goes up again sometimes, but then it goes down sometimes. Oh my god, dude. Of course, I get hit. Oh my god! Oh my god, my heart is racing so fast right now. It's going, uh, 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 uh. How many times? How many times did it take me to kill him? 39 death. After I killed Seth, I went ahead and crafted another summon staff called the Nuclear Fairy Summon Staff. Before we end the episode, we should be able to make another summon staff. The Nuclear Fairy, yeah, Nuclear Fairy Summon Staff. Let's see what it looks like. Just a regular fairy. Okay, let's summon all these guys. All right, let's go take them to like a, uh, it's not bad. 2,000 damage. Wait, that actually is really good. I went ahead and completed the Lunar Events, killed the Moon Lord made another sentry summon staff, and now went to go fight the last and final challenge of the split mod, which is Ultimate Seth. Ultimate Seth was like Seth, except he's a dick. A bigger dick, actually. Firstly, Ultimate Seth has a damage cap, so you can't really cheese him with anything. On top of that, if you actually get hit by Ultimate Seth, he will lock your hearts so that you can't heal for a specific amount of time over a certain amount of HP. So you can get hit and basically be stuck at like 200 HP for a really long time. There was basically just a lot going on in the fight, and um, yeah, I, I, I went, I, I got really upset. Fucking my asshole in my fucking left rectum. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Hey, please. Leave me alone. I'm so sorry. What is in my way? There we go. I'm dead. I, I'm fucking stupid, bro. The fucking oxygen was flowing up. Oh, you got me kidding me. You okay? You kill. <laughs> Are you shitting me? Random stuff is in my way. Oh my god, that is so stupid, man. I had it. And then he whips out four fucking swords. That is unbelievable. But yeah, here is the final and ultimate challenge of the split mod. I hope you guys enjoyed this fight because I really did.
What a bitch. After beating Ultimate Seth, he dropped his sword, which was really, really cool. And he also dropped a key or something to go find this ultimate chest down in, in the basal biome. Before ending the playthrough, I tested out the new weapons and items on Seth himself for uh, a little good taste of revenge. It is. All right, let's open it. Four items. Okay, we're going to take them. Uh, we're going to take the chest as well. And we're just going to go home. It seems like there's four items probably. Okay, wait. Storm wings. That's fucking holy titty smokers. These wings are so cool. There was four items in there, I believe, right? Why do I only have... Wait, okay, we have this. We have th the lore. Oh, the music box. Let me uh, play it. When Seth was born, he said congratulations to his parents. Hasn't said a word since because chatting is for weaklings. Hides his eyes under a blindfold because the world may disappoint him. He bought a Winrar license and never used it. Killed and ate the last bone dragon and gained epic fire powers. An epic sword that appears whenever... Wait, what? Oh, it's equipable. Okay, we need it. An... Okay, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's just summon regular Seth. Oh, there's the sword. It's, it's just hitting him. There it is. It's like literally on him. Do you see that? It's right there. Wow, okay. And then if I just use this... Reg... If I use the regular sword, it also hits just on him. Dude. Oh my gosh. This sword is so good. But after that, I ended my playthrough with this. I did skim through a ton of stuff. So I really highly recommend checking out my playlist or just checking out a, you know, an actual guide. Like I said in the beginning, I only played summoner class. So melee class, ranger class, mage class. They had a ton of crazy weapons that I never found or never checked out. So I do highly recommend playing it on your own because it really was a fun experience. But um, yeah, it's been Adrian, guys.